You're tuned to Cairns FM 89.1 and uh, a station that doesn't mind playing the long tracks, especially when they're beautiful like that, called Abraham and sung there by Shane Howard. And the good news is we have Shane Howard on the line. You there, Shane? Cole, how are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, welcome well, well, to the airways. Well, thank you, yeah, and um, that was really lovely to hear. You know, it's funny, you make these records and um, you completely... Uh, absorb yourself in the process of writing and then recording and p- performing live um, and you know you listen to a song when you make a record over thousands and thousands of times and then you release it and I, I probably don't listen to it again uh, unless <laughs> you stumble across it accidentally when I mean, you play it live um, but I'm always pleasantly surprised when I hear things back like just listening to Abraham then it's, um, it's really lovely to hear to hear it back and be reminded of um, the work by all the, the musicians involved. Um, yeah, look, it, it certainly is a, a, a fantastic uh, piece of work for, for me. Anyway, I, I think it's, it, it says so much. Yeah, like I said, you get you get so distracted by the process. I mean, music is such a social art form. It, it requires engineers and producers and well, not some producers, but engineers and other musicians. Like painters work in isolation, pretty much, or a writer. Um, but with music, it's so public and social. Um, you know, someone once said to me that music is how humans flock. <laughs> there's, there's some truth in that. And so you often forget in the process, you forget about the songs and what they're actually on about, what they're saying. And it's nice to be reminded of that from time to time. So yeah. Thanks, Cole. Oh, my pleasure. I think, too, it is wonderful, though, uh, to, uh, as a, I, I'm, I'm an audience, I don't play or sing anything, but to be there live when the artists are on stage, it's, it, the feeling and the, and the atmosphere is just absolutely tremendous. There's another dimension with live performance. Absolutely. It's a, th- a third dimension or a fourth dimension. Now, uh, you're currently celebrating the 30th anniversary of a Solid Rock. It <laughs> doesn't seem that long ago, does it? The water does go under the bridge. Yeah, absolutely. So you, you've been out to uh, Uluru to uh, perform out there? Yeah, one of the dreams I had for the last uh, three years, Cole, was to um, was to take the song back to the community right, uh, and take it back to Uluru. And look, it was a dream that I didn't think um, could be realised. But we worked on it uh, probably for the last few years and... Um, the community were incredibly supportive at Mutajulu. It's the, 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 about 300 strong community, very small little community out there mm-hmm. on the other side of the rock. And um, they, it took about two years of organising to pull that together. But about three years ago, I went out into the APY lands, out the central desert area, and I worked with the uh, kids from the schools at Mutajulu, which is the Uluru community, right? Uh, at Docker River and Imumpa and Murpacha. Pukacha and Pipilajara, right out in the West Australian border. And uh, we, the kids do illustrations for the children's book of Solid Rock. And I also had it translated, I felt very strongly about having translated into Pitinjara, the local language as well, um, so that it became a bilingual resource. Um, but it lacked, uh, I got contacted about two years ago by the Music Outback Foundation, who who work out, um, do music programs in remote, those remote communities in the APY lands, the yes. desert lands. And they said, look, yeah, it's a literal translation. We'd love to have a singable version in Bidinjara. So uh, a great singer somewhere, like Jody Martin, who worked with the Music Outback Foundation. Oh, I know Jody. Yeah. Well, Jody connected me to a senior man, Trevor Jamison, uh, Trevor Adamson, who's a beautiful singer-songwriter in his own right from the Bella. And Trevor and I, we worked on translation of a song that was singable but still retained the meaning and a sense of feeling that was still relevant in Pitinjara and English and it was a really beautiful exercise to do to see the song return to that country in the language of that country and then people like Danny Sultan and Natalie Papar and all of us, we learned to sing it in Pitinjara as well. Fabulous. And of course we went back to Mutajulu this year in October and took Archie Roach and Dan Sultan um, John Butler came with us. Oh, wonderful. Um, Natalie Papa and Carlos Antone from Blue King Brown. Yep. Neil Murray, Warren Williams. There's a whole mob of us. Huge gathering. Ditch players and Irish pipe players and all sorts. And we did a big concert there at Mutajulu for the community and they opened the community up to non-Indigenous people as well, which they really do. And right. invited everyone in. And 
Yeah, this was a community that was brutalised by the intervention. So they yeah. were suspicious of white fellas coming into the community. And, um, but they were very keen. They wanted to show the community off um, because they got so much bad press yeah. from the intervention that made them look like alcoholics and, and you know, um, abusers and stuff. So it was, it was a really lovely thing to do and... and uh, to come into the community and let them show their cultural reality and show off their community and their great skills. And it was in the middle of their um, sports and culture um, festival as well. So it was a really beautiful exchange. And it was uh, a, a unifying uh, event then? Absolutely, yeah. Mm. It, just showed, it just showed that there's a way of, you know, um, interventions aren't the way to go. Uh, a civilised dialogue between to mature groups of people is really the pathway forward and that we can we can work together. And the reality is that uh, the community, they did all the site logistics, all the site management stuff, staging, you know, um, and uh, without their support, we wouldn't have been able to achieve what we achieved with a major concert like that right. in a remote location. So it was a great partnership, Cole, and it was a really an overwhelming experience and event. Uh, anyone who was there... Uh, including all the musicians, everyone was of the same mind that, you know, it was, you have amazing gigs that you do in your life. There's lots and of, that was really one amazing of them. gigs, but mm. this was really something else to stand there on stage in the presence of Uluru yeah. and the community uh, and to bring that song back to the point of inspiration mm -hmm. was uh, something I'll never, ever forget. Great. And and then, uh, not satisfied with that, you then made an, uh, you then brought that back to the capital city, like Melbourne, to try and convey that uh, spirit. That's to... true. We brought uh, uh, at the start of December. Then we did a, a major concert in Melbourne um, to bring that the sense of that and the spirit of that back to uh, back yeah. into the city. Yeah. And um, and we had some footage that we'd shot out there. Uh, which really set the scene and gave people in Melbourne a sense of where we'd been and what we'd done. Great. Now, uh, I understand that uh, it's not all over because you'll be also celebrating this at Woodford this That's year. That's right. Um, the Woodford Festival, which yeah. is uh, right on our doorstep now, coming up. Yeah, 27th uh, of December to, I think, the 1st of, or is it, yeah, the 1st of uh, January. Six it's, days. Yeah, it's what a mighty festival is. It's an amazing experience. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and you know that all too well, Cole. Absolutely. As, as do a number of people up here, by the way. We, we, I know we're 2,000 kilometres away from Woodford here. Yeah. But there's a huge contingent goes down from far north Queensland. So, uh, so Kansas has had a long connection to the Woodford Festival. Yeah. I, I mean, one of the things I have to say is, I mean, I'm, oh, the thing I love about Woodford is... Uh, you go there at the end of the year and it's a tricky time of the year between Christmas and New Year and you're kind of a bit exhausted from the yep. end of the year. But I always find it uplifting and inspiring that there are so many great alternative thinkers, um, so many incredible expressions of art, yeah. as music or dance or uh, performance at some level. Well, the street performances and the... Uh... Yeah, the traditional Aboriginal dancing, the yes. jugglers and the tightrope walkers, the, the full gamut of artistic expression, yeah. including great talking head forums. Well, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's so much. In fact, you, you think of it, it's there. I mean, there's, there's the arts and the crafts. Yeah. Uh, there's the um, environmental uh, aspects. There's the educational aspects. Uh, there's the yep. dietary. Uh, and I know a few years ago, some years ago when I was there, a doctor, oh, no, I might have it wrong, Richard Reed, I think, um, had developed a, um, you know, uh, a clinic, a remote clinic uh, that was put together out of two portables and it was an idea that he had and he trialled that at Woodford which is a population, a daily population of you know, 100,000 people and more. Yeah, over, something like that, yes. Over the six days. And yeah. uh, so he trialled that there as the clinic at Woodford and was able to develop, use that as a, as a model um, to develop up a remote, uh, remote community uh, medical centre. Right. And, and he could he that model he could deliver uh, equipped to a rogue community for about um, a, about a twentieth of the cost that federal government was paying. Yeah, for a similar uh, similar clinic. So um, great, there's, there's great thinkers, great ideas, great music, 
great performance, and I, I always come back invigorated, Cole. Me too. Uh, it's it's sort of like a renewal, renewing the batteries. You know, you, you meet the people. You probably don't even see them. You, you see them six days a year, but they've become firm friends and and lifelong friends. It's true, and I mean, cause we do get very jaded as we get older, and after a year of doing battle out there in the world, <laughs> you, you, you can get to think that the world is very self-interested and true. Uh, you know, and um, the, it's all about a kind of uh, a brutal in a way. And it's really lovely to be reminded that there are great people doing great things everywhere. Yeah, right. And fair play to Queensland because uh, there is nothing else like this in Australia. And it, for that matter, uh, there are very few things like this anywhere in the world. And, um, and uh, so fair play to Queensland who had the vision, people like Bill Horowitz and oh, look, so many yeah. others. Mm who had the vision in the first place. You know, when, when he first started that uh, festival, um, the Queensland government actually set up a, a festival in rival to that down at um, Mwollumbar, I think it was. Right. The whole idea was to try, and because it was a, a national party government, they wanted to uh, scuttle the festival because they thought it was a gathering of hippies. And <laughs> yeah, right, lefties. <laughs> yeah, and lefties. And so they... they tried uh, an alternative one at um, Mwollumbar to coincide with that to try and take the crowds away but uh, Bill had done his homework <laughs> and it was a resounding success and the, and the thing that they put on was a flop and they had, a, they had an investigation and when they found out that what, what uh, Bill was really on about uh, that was when you know gradually they swung behind it now, now the Queensland government is one of the uh, Ireland supporters Absolutely, yeah. Cole, I'm getting the wind up here because I've got another. Yeah, call okay. Through. Well, I'll just play a couple of track, a couple of bars of this, just so you can hear it, and then we'll talk about your appearances at Woodford. So let the Remember that? I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> let the Franklin flow, yeah. Yeah, that was a brilliant song. I I, I went rushed out and bought the single. <laughs> well, did, I didn't know it was you until the other day. Oh, is that right? Because <laughs> yeah. we released it as um, Gordon Franklin and the Wilderness Ensemble. And in fact, um, 2013 will be the 30th anniversary of the High Court's decision to protect the Franklin. And it's the 30th anniversary of that song and being released. And when I first went down to the Franklin River yeah. all those years ago, and... Um, in many ways, it was the beginning of the environmental movement, and which then led to the beginning of the Greens. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Bob Brown uh, was—he yeah. uh, he actually appears on the other side of the single. That's right, and um, I've maintained a great friendship with Bob over the years, and uh, he's one of the few people in politics who was able to exit with uh, his dignity intact. Right. Um, yeah. A great champion, really, and a great Australian. Um, so yeah, it's great to look. Look, it's great in this. 30th anniversary year, Cole, to be able to honour all those songs. Absolutely. Well, Shane, uh, I know you have to go, so yeah. we'll just run through quickly where you'll be appearing on Saturday the 29th at 2.30 to 3.30pm at the concert stage at Woodford, and then the same day at 8.30 in the evening at the uh, concert stage again, you'll be solo there, whereas you'll be with the band and uh, some special be a guests. conversation with uh, Archie Roach. Right. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, uh, my old brother, my dear friend, and uh, Sunday... Sunday, d December the 30th, 11.40 in the morning. Yeah, uh, that's a, another kind of in-conversation and yeah. performance. Great. Uh, with uh, Get Up Stand Up with John Butler and Penny Swales. And oh, and oh Penelope and Swales from, uh, uh, what is it, the uh, uh, Totally Gorgeous. And Alaysa Lojana... Johnny Butler, so that should be a bit of fun. Oh, yes, there's some wonderful names there. And then Monday, uh, the Grand, at the Grand at one forty five to 2.30, yeah. Which is our finale. So and uh, Great stuff. Which is a full band show, yeah. Yeah, so um, keep the billy on a slow boil up there, Cole. Will do. And uh, and Shane, if I see you round, uh, I'll come and say good day. If you see me before I see you, you might run in the other direction. I don't know. Not at all. No, I'm um, looking forward to catching up face to face, Cole. Great, Shane. Well, uh, we'll go out on um, on undertow if that's all right with you. No worries at all. Yeah. Okay. And thanks for your support, Cole. Thanks for taking the time. No worries, Shane. Thanks for uh, contacting FM eighty nine point one. No worries, see you at Woodford. Bye. Bye, mate.